right, all right, all right, y'all, what's going on? Here we go again. Back for another one. I'd like to say hello to all my loyal followers, my friends, call my followers are like my friends. I'd like to remind y'all to hit that like button. It keeps my site moving forward, you know, and thank you for all your new viewers. Thank you for taking the time and checking out my video. Now, I want to propose a rhetorical question, right? My question is, what is going on with Hollywood and the feminization of the black man? What is going on with the media and the feminization of the black man? Y'all remember that term, toxic masculinity? We all remember that term. Um... What is their agenda? It's obvious that the black man is at war, not only in America, but across the world. We're at war. This war is for survival. Now, what role does Hollywood have to play in this? Why are they so dead set on having our greatest talents, having to um, become more feminine? That's a question I like to ask. Take a look at this, y'all. I remember when I did Murder Lurkle for the first time. Well, hello there. And I just remember, again, I get a lot of my enthusiasm from other people's satisfaction. Everybody on set that week was just amazed. I did run into an issue. Joe Marie and Reggie at that time were very sensitive to putting black men in dresses. And they, they heaped that on. And they, they, they let me know that I was not doing our race a, a service by putting on that yellow dress. But everybody has a default. Do you crumble? Do you wilt under pressure? Do you rise? Do you surprise yourself? My default tends to be to take it up a notch. I mean, that evening I felt like a girl. I felt like a girl playing Myrtle Lurk. But I cried like a baby at the end of that tape. I just broke. And I just cried, cried, cried. And this is what's awesome where you have a great father. You have a good family. And my dad just rose up like a lion and was like, I've watched my son deal with this all week to pull out this performance. And he will never play this character again. You got it once, it's done. But he shouldn't have to carry the burden of some adults making a child feel bad for playing a girl just in fun. You see now, it's obvious that there's a gender, a social engineering agenda. Who's ahead of this? Who's spearheading this? Who's funding this? Who's going to win? Who's going to lose in this struggle right here? You know? These are the things that we should be looking at. Who's funding this? Why? What is the reason for this? Obviously not one of us. But who knows? You know? The struggle is real. The struggle continues. I got more for y'all to watch. Take a look at this. Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. uh, wearing a dress in the SNL skit. Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are going to say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. <laughs> so now we have Big Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah. I've never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. <laughs> so now I'm saying, why are we picking on poor Lil Heart? Because it was his turn next. Some of us are against the Illuminati. We are against the Illuminati at our own detriment. When people are against the Illuminati, then they get punched in the face all the time. The press hates them. Nobody likes them. Yeah. End quote. I mean, I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like, when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down. Like, why all these brothers got to wear a dress? That's happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. So I walk in the trailer. 
I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer because there's a dress in here. <laughs> they come in. It's the writer comes in. I think he's the writer. He's like, they listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail. So he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> and he put this dress on. And it, huh? What? The prostitute? Nah, I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable with it. That should have been in a discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it. I mean, it's a hilarious bit. All the greats have done it. So, well, if all the greats have done it, it's kind of hacky, right? You're right. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave. Listen, we, we got it all set up. We're supposed to shoot. Every every minute your waist costs this much money. You no, know, the pressure comes in. Huh. He said, I'm now nah, I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't even wear no dress to be funny. What am I, Milton Burrow? You know, we're going like this. And then finally he's like, ah, and he leaves. And then like the director comes, Dave, it really would be great if you wear the dress. What is wrong? What is this, uh, bro?